front is high as well, which look quite unusual. I'm going to get in a bit closer in a minute as well, so you can have a better look. But those central peaks, uh, they just look like moon bases, don't they? I know, not, I know the mountains, and I'm talking rubbish, but look at them, the L-shape, they kind of do. And those, um, uh, those cracks in the crater floor, they range from about 100, 100 metres to about a kilometre wide. So, bearing in mind the ISS is 100 metres wide, so a couple of them on the, on the in the base of that crater, you should be able to see it from Earth, shouldn't you really, using that logic? And those two marks in the crater wall, those parallel lines, and coming up now, look at the size of that. It makes you wonder how, it's, in fact, it's theorised that it was a comet, it came in at a, a shallow angle, broke up, and impacted the surface of the moon, which caused that shape. But I me, mean, if you think about it, it would have had to dodge around Earth, then break up, then cause that. But that's another thing as well, you'd think the moon would have rings by now, wouldn't you? That much debris has been shot 